nice folks welcome welcome to the Koshman channel today we going to curry crab nice we are on the outside here if you all like that that style i do in cooking in let me know in the comments if you want more of this yeah so anyway we're going to do it on the chulha now we're going to get the chulha light up and get down to business nice so we did be coconut water today and we have the coconut husk there like for some coconut bacon at time in so yeah as you see we have pumpkin carrots coconut milk we have a whole lot of nices inside the onion garlic pimento celery sive shadow any tomatoes nice yeah. so we can get a stool highlight up here now so we need to organize some chips for the fire to light chips is well chips is chips small piece of flour. So we get the chulha light up there with a little flammable stuff. We can fight the die down a little bit and pop the pot. Well, be nice, lovely crab marinating underneath there. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Nothing. The 22nd of this month, September, is the Bushman birthday. So, just saying, I ain't begging. If anybody wants to bless up the Bushman, with a little, uh, right now, Bushman Express, the Adventure Vehicle Tree rotting down. So, um, look what's going on there. Eh, terrible. So, if anybody wants to bless up the Bushman with a little something, chi ching ching, the foot towards that tree, I will be grateful. Nice. Alright, folks, we fire catch nice and properly. They are complete. Too much fire, too. So, yeah. Much fire, but I know. See, so we're gonna set up a pot there. Wow, we're gonna set up a pot there. And we gotta come this side now, right? What we're gonna do here now is we're gonna separate the crab from the um, condiments, the garlic, pimento, and them stuff garlic, pimento, celery, sive, and the tomato. We got the condiments on the other side separate from the crab so we're gonna try and take out as much of the crab as possible find the legs take it out everything everything right and we remain with that day check out our niceness day so we remain with that right so before we hot pot uh, hot Niceness here. Look at the color, the curry, and the texture when you're buying it. Now, this is good curry, the chief curry. 
yellow like saffron and things it's just perfect yeah. so we add some water we're gonna add our next water let's show our hair again yeah next water Water dry up a little bit. That's just a little amount of heat on it. Dry the water quick. seasoning, no black pepper, no vetsen, all them stuff here, nothing like that, all natural. The only thing for the grocery probably I use here is the curry powder, yeah, and salt. Nice, so we're gonna give this a nice steam up here. Let me curry cook the crab kind of way. Crab it don't cook and pull in the room I get in from this here. Right? Huh. Okay. Nice, everything cook nice, give a few minutes there. And we'll head to the next step. And yeah folks, we deserve yeah, we just really improvise and this a ply I cut out from a speaker box, put a little notch in it, make a handle. Try to cover a pot. We have a concrete block there. You know, well the table legs are a little too high, I had to cut it for the pot to drop. So stand up on the um, concrete block, reaching inside the pot border. So nice. Yeah. Smoking my eye right now. Wow. Real fire there. Right, so we're gonna have a grated pumpkin there now. And we grated carrots. And get a nice turn up. Yeah. Right, so we have the pumpkin and the carrots there, and we're gonna give it a nice turn up. Let's continue to fry. Pumpkin and carrots gonna melt on and we got nice tasty sauce. Folks, the amount of thing I can bring out here cooks that you never see before. Yeah, but 
time comes consuming sometime it must be a little hectic you know if we get the encouragement by uh, people sponsoring videos and stuff yeah we gotta do more yeah not even the not only these videos the kayak fishing outdoor videos on the whole Let our fry down a little more there. Nice. So we coat the crab with all the pumpkin and carrots. Yeah. Nice. So the crab looking proper inside, you know. With the pumpkin and carrots are mixed up in between. Yeah, folks, and this curry crab, if I did add a little slight curry, not the amount that I put, and I put the dashing bush, young dashing bush leaf, okra, with the same cup pumpkin, carrots, everything, it'll be a dalalu. No, it'll be a curry loo curry loop but this is curry crab with pumpkin and carrots so i know what to call this yes curry crab with pumpkin and carrots i believe so nice so we're gonna add we um coconut milk here we're gonna need to add some water with this because this coconut milk concentrated yeah add the coconut milk here Add some water to be to cover the crab and let her cook down. Yeah. Add some more water. carrots already great so it won't take long to cook I think I'll add some water because you know when I eat in this I need sauce a whole lot of sauce so we gonna add a little more water I come to a boil and boil on a bit and she much sauce we leave in it yeah Check out that in a bit. Only niceness in there. May scrape and pull up. You know, you just get the watery sauce. So all that have to melt properly, all that. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So we'll give that a co cover. Cover down and we organize with flour for we dumpling and we cassava done peel and froze cut. Yeah? Nice, so we have the cassava here. Done peel and chopped. We can set this aside. We can need up some flour for the dumpling here. Yeah, we're gonna have more cassava than dumpling because I believe I'm low on raw flour. I have more um, flour inside, but that have baking powder, and you cannot use baking powder in dumpling. Nice, well, you'll get winning in the stomach. Nice. So we have some flour here, not much. Nutri-mix flour, we're gonna add all this. Yeah. We're gonna add some salt. And use water to knead it. We have some flour inside here. That's why I use all that. Yeah. So while I crab cooking on there, we're gonna deal with this dumpling. I guess most people know how to make dumpling. Flour, salt, add water, mix. Till it turns into a dough. Set aside and then make a dumpling however you want it. Yeah. Nice. Add the water to the flour. time up on the Blanchier's Road Arima we were to make a cook some two chicken and dumpling I think we buy one pack of flour when we went there I don't know who do it I can't remember it was me Ian Abdul Joey Sukur Kevin Matthews a few we went up there to cook 
I don't know who do it. One of the man throw the whole pack of flour in the basin and put water and start a mix up, man. It turned like a porridge. And we didn't have no flour to get back the dough, you know. It's hard now. So we throw everything in our pot, boil it like a cake. Take it out after we boil it like a cake. You know, we have to cut it in slice like, like we cut in cake. Wait, and we plate chicken and eat up. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Them, them were some days. Talking about 15, 16 years back, eh? Nice, right, so we flour don't need here. We can set this aside now. Till the crab finish. The pot, we can serve and dump into boil. And then empty the crab from that pot. And we use back that pot. That is the fireside pot. Yeah? Yeah? Check out the dumpling making need and flour skills. in your bowl and need in your flour yeah kind of fold in it fold in it fold in it fold in it yeah and if it getting a little sticky you just add a little more flour until it kind of get dry hey this follow up this proof we can so we're gonna set this aside till we crab finish Get down to the business and making the dumpling after. Yeah. Yes. So you see how this crab going here? Yeah. Ay ay ay. Hot bubbling. Nice. Mm. Everything melting inside it proper. Sauce decent. Right, so that'll keep going for a bit again. Remember, I'll even add a lot of sauce for the dumpling and cassava. Yeah. Nice, folks. So we had a sample of sauce here. How we go look? Yeah. No, you're seeing this. You're seeing the. This is our pumpkin and carrots in the sauce, yeah? yeah. So when I taste it, I don't taste it a spoon. I want enough sauce to taste. Taste it a bowl. Ah, boy. Mm. Lovely. So far, so good. And yeah, folks, the reason why I make this cover too, with the wood handle, you don't need a pot cloth. To check your pot. Huh? When you're ready, you just stick it off. You don't need to look for a clothes. Nice. Alright, folks, we crap done. Alright. Crap done. So we're gonna empty out in this pot. I'll use back this pot. Yeah. All right, come back to my pot. Ah. Uh, what going on here? Ah, yeah, yeah, that sauce, boy, that sauce. Check that sauce. Oh, Lord. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sauce, yes, 100. Nice. So come on this. We're going to put this inside. We're going to deal with this now. We're going to add some water. Let it boil and add the uh, cassava and dumpling. Nice. So we're going to fold back up the pot with water. Nice. So we pour up with water. We have the cassava here. This was frozen cassava, folks. I didn't have fresh one. This is cassava from the garden that I bring peeled and prepare yeah so we pour up that day we go and bring out a good boil and then put the dumpling right nice oh we need to add some salt add some salt get a little stir and let that come to our boil and then add the dumplings 
right folks so i'm gonna i decide i'm gonna make the pot good and done i'm going and boil and fry the cassava with the dumpling yeah onion garlic pimento right there we have it we onion garlic pimento yeah nice folks so we cassava done boil and we're going on um, we're gonna make some dumpling now yeah simple and easy way to make dumpling you just hold it in your hand so and just pop it and throw it like this by its sides yeah quick quick when it's at a stick flow it a little bit Yeah folks, rain sudden to pour. So right, how you know when dumpling and cook? And you put your dumpling and all food up. Yeah, done cook. We want it cook. With the cassava, I want the cassava melt a bit. And then we we'll strain it and fry it and we pull that off there. Right, so let's boil a bit. Right, so we got the coffee, cassava and dumpling combined together. Check it out. Yes, smoking hot. Train it, but I like using this. I like using this. Now this the boil and fry. I can use a little butter. That butter is just huh, bring out the flavor. Yeah, a little carry gold Irish butter. Nice, so we don't strain me stuff there and set this aside. And we're gonna empty that pot, put it all back. Alright folks, the crab done, time for the grand finale. The provision fryer. Nice. So I'm working with one hand here. Pulling the camera at one hand. I have no camera. So we're gonna add a little bit of oil. A little bit of oil, not much. We're gonna add some Kerrygold pure Irish butter. We have a little chunk here. Let's add that in the pot. Yeah. And let that melt up properly. So the butter melt up properly. We're gonna add this arm. Um, Onion, garlic, pimento. You could add more stuff there, like carrots, sweet pepper, whatever. But, yeah. This is what I would name it right now. Let that fry up here, yeah, why it burn, eh? Just yes, why it saute a bit. Because burn onions is burn stomach. Yeah? Just yes, yes, why it saute a bit. That is really fire here, so that yeah, so that probably good there. Yeah, smelling it, the aroma. Yeah. Right, so we gonna add this now. This get hot, so we add um just back that. Yes, we come ready. Ooh, well hot. Now we gonna add the dumpling and cassava. So you put, yeah, lovely. Try and give this a nice turn up. The Irish butter and the um, onion, garlic, pimento, mustard. Coat the dumpling and cassava good and the cassava must melt kind of way and coat the dumpling too. Yeah. 
Oh, sorry, I didn't have some red peppers to find that day. But I had no more celery and side to um, garnish it after. So, we got to let this work. I didn't plan to do this vlog today. Nice, so we don't like corn did I said it. Yeah. So we go and get a sample plate. See how it looks. Sample and yeah, call it off. Nice folks, time to try out this thing. I know it's good, but yeah. So I'm um, choked out the hidden Mohammed. Hidden plant some garden by me. Really? He stop and say Bushman. I say yeah boy. See so and so he planting garden there, ting ting ting, you always pass and you never see my so you see my today. So big up the hidden child, Mohammed. So hidden since you watch man, you watch Pablo, we could do a thing by the garden there in a time and a boss boss support to eating. Yeah, so um we get on the business here now. Casavas cooking man. Right, so I gonna need too heavy right now. I'm just just keep take a two cassava and two dumplings. When I adventure baby them come home I will take the real eat I'll just take a little something to keep them up right now Yeah? I don't want to eat too heavy right now now Right so um That's it, there we have it Anyway you're cooking is a fly, so I have to be careful Because if you have a fly going to that pot I'll tell you, I'll show you now with this Yeah? Sauce now, boy. That sauce, the sauce, sick sauce with real nice in it. I feel I need some water in that sauce, boy. Anyway, I'll have a sample. I'll put it back together, a little saucy. Trying to get a little thick pumpkin and carrots. There, boy. Nice. Drizzle that all over there. Time to eat no crab and thing right now, but I will try a little piece on this side. Yeah. yeah. Basically. cassava and dumpling wherever you want to eat it with so so yeah folks if you all you all like this style and this vlog you know how it flow let me know if you all want more but as I said we only cooking in the outdoor kitchen should be go outdoor bush man we cooking on the outdoors outdoors right through nothing indoor nice so hope you all enjoy that so anyway folks over and out see you all in the next one Thank mm -hmm. you.